Hi everyone and welcome to the 11th edition of Show and Tell Mondaroonies. That's Show and Tell Monday. And I am wearing the green today, even though St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. I am wearing the green today because I received a little card in the mail. Hi, laddie, with a YouTube sticker on the back. And little stickers on phone, oh, stickers on the front. <laughs> um, from my wee friend Daniel. Daniel, say what? I'm going to open it now as quickly as I can. This is really nice of you, Daniel. If I can get it out of the envelope. <laughs> Bear with me. Um. St. Patrick's Day wishes to you. Chris, hope you have lots of luck on the four-leaf clover on this four-leaf clover day. Looking forward to many more videos. Okay, Daniel, I'll try. May your blessings be many, your troubles be you may the luck of the Irish be smiling on you. Hugs, Daniel say what? Thank you, Daniel. That was very sweet of you. Okay, <clears throat> down to business. Okay, on this week's show and tell, I want you to tell me what you would be if you were an inanimate object. Okay? Now, I know that they say that inanimate means um, not living, uh, not moving, spiritless. I don't, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> because I believe anything that we're touching and or looking at, admiring, whatever, if we give it a second thought, it's got to have some kind of spirit about it. Some kind of spirit about it. Now, if I were to choose an inanimate object to be, I would be a curio cabinet. A curio cabinet. A wee curio cabinet. Like this one. And why? Well, the curio cabinet has glass panes, windows in it. I would be able to see all around the house where I belonged. And I would be the keeper of all the person's, <coughs> excuse me, all the person's sentimental items keepsakes, um, knickknacks, and people visiting would be coming over and going, oh, what a beautiful curio cabinet. Oh, what lovely things you have collected. And also, in my curio cabinet self, I would have drawers. Yes, I would be wearing drawers. And in those drawers, hopefully, would be kept things such as precious photos, um, love letters, birthday cards, anniversary cards, everything that meant something good to the person or persons living in the home where I was displayed. Yeah, that would be nice. 
and I would watch the generations go by and they would love me right till the very end, till my drawers fell off and my legs gave out. Similar to what's been happening to me lately. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Pick an inanimate object, what you would be and why. One second. <sighs> it was just my adorable wee husband calling to tell me he loved me. Okay, where was I? Um, what would what inanimate object would you be and why? Pictures if you want. Attach that vid here or tell me in the comment section. Um, this one should be fun. At least I hope you think it's going to be fun. So I'll be looking forward to that. Everyone have a great day. Take care and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye for now. I'm out of here.